So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add the proper amount of calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity to your aquarium. Hey guys, it's Bruce here with The Aquarium Life. And uh, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to add the proper amount of calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium to your aquarium. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to test for that. And uh, this video is kind of a follow-up to that, where I'm going to show you how easy it is to just add the proper amount. Honestly, I feel like the testing is the hardest part. Once you've got that number down from your tests, it's easy to calculate that over and uh, add the proper amount of, uh, of your additives into your aquarium. So uh, it, any, um, any additive, I think, that's on the market, uh, they should have their own calculator for that. Uh, we've got our own. It, you can download it onto Android or use it on the website with, uh, with the Vital Reef products. Uh, I wanted to show you how to, you know, dose whether you're using Vital Reef or not, it's the same process. Um, so basically you're going to have your two different types of additives. You, you're either going to have a liquid, which is uh, pre-mixed, it's a little bit easier to use. Uh, people seem to prefer that or if you uh, want to save a little bit of money you can go with the uh, dry the powders uh, honestly I personally use the powders it goes a lot further and uh, it's almost just as easy to use uh, and then another thing too uh, you know whether you're using a different different brand or whatever uh, our calculator uh, for the most part, it, let's say this is a, a powdered form of calcium chloride and this was a powdered form of calcium chloride, most likely that uh, calculator is going to get you uh, close enough to the ballpark to uh, get, that, get that level where you need it. So let, let's dive into the app. I'll show you how that works. Alright, so now I can show you this, uh, this app. It's a uh, a Vital Reef app for the Vital Reef products. I, I believe most companies actually have their own uh, calculator. Uh, this can also uh, work with a lot of the other products uh, depending on uh, what, what they are. For example, if another uh, company has a calcium chloride that's a powder, most likely the uh, measurement is going to be very, uh, very similar. Uh, this app is free for you to download if you want to check it out. Uh, right here, we're going to use the uh, we're going to use the alkalinity, and we're going to pick our product. Uh, let's go with the sodium carbonate, and then we want to put in our water volume. Uh, when we're when we're at when we're doing our water volume, when we're calculating that out, this uh, tank display is 110 gallons. The, uh, the sump adds a little bit more water volume, but then the rock subtracts some water volume. I can't imagine that most people have an absolute uh, definitive uh, amount, of, exact amount of water that's in their system. Usually what I'll do is I'll go with that, uh, that tank volume itself. So let's put in that 110 gallons and I don't usually use a stylus with this so I apologize I'm all over the place so now we've got our, our water volume in there Then we can put what our measurement was. Let's say we were at 8 dKH. We wanted to raise it up to, uh, let's say 9.2. Calculate two teaspoons. So, very simple. Uh, we were at 8 dKH. We want to go up to 9.2. We're going to add two teaspoons of the uh, sodium carbonate, and that's going to put us right where we want to be. Okay, so you've seen how the app works. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, 
you can get yourself uh, uh, these measuring spoons like from All a Dollar. This came from All a Dollar. You know, any of your dollar stores, uh, super cheap. And uh, let's say, for example, we're going to use some powder, and you want to dose that, and you're uh, you're concerned about well, how much do I mix or whatever. Well, so with the calculator, let's say we came up with uh, two teaspoons, and then we just get kind of a you know enough RO water in here that it's going to dissolve without any any issue. The amount of water in here is not that important. You just want enough that uh, your mixture isn't going to be real thick. So let's say it was two teaspoons. So we put one, two teaspoons of your uh, soda ash in there. We're going to swirl that up. And boom, we've got the uh, correct dosage. Um, you know, whether you're using these pre-made liquids or you're going to use this, uh, we just want to uh, dump this into the sump, into the back of a filter. Never, never uh, put any of your additives directly over any corals or livestock. Uh, you want to uh, get this at the furthest point uh, from that. So you could dump it into the overflow. You could dump it into a hang on the back filter if that's what you're running. Uh, just as far away from your uh, livestock as possible and you're just gonna you're just gonna slowly dump that in um, one thing to mention too whether if it's a uh, uh, calcium or magnesium uh, I try not to to increase more than uh, 50 to maybe 100 parts per million at a time uh, you don't want to exceed that per day and then on uh, on alkalinity uh, I don't like to raise it more than uh, half of a DKH per day. So let's say if you're, you're, you're quite a bit off, you're, you, know, you need to add in uh, enough alkalinity to make up for 3 DKH. Uh, I would do that over a few days, uh, not all at once. And you could even mix this up with enough to raise it that, that high and then just put a little bit in each, each day until you're done with that. Um, a few more things I wanted to mention, uh, you know, don't get too hung up on the numbers. Obviously, they're important. We want to get things as close as possible. But, uh, you know, keep in mind, like, like for example, this display here is 110 gallons. Uh, and then we've got a little bit more for the sump. But then we've got a substantial amount of live rock and coral in there that's taking up some water volume. It, it's, it's incredibly difficult to know that exact number. You know, do we have... 106.2 gallons of water in there. It's not um, that crucial. It's better to dose a little bit less. Um, always err on the side of caution. Dose a little bit less and then uh, you'll kind of get a feel for that uh, to, to how much to put in there. Uh, the test kits that we use in this hobby, they're, they're accurate to a point but they're not, it's not like testing your water in a laboratory. Uh, so you want to get that number as close as possible. You want to be consistent. Try to use the same test kit over and over again. Um, use the same techniques for consistency. Um, but just don't worry, you know, if, you, if you're talking about uh, 420 parts per million of calcium versus uh, 425 parts per million, uh, chances are you're not quite that, you know, uh, close anyway. Uh, uh, I wanted to thank you for uh, watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, there is an article that I wrote that uh, it, it's uh, kind of a simplified version of this whole process. And I'll have the link to that down in the description below. So please check that out. I tried to write it as, uh, as short and to the point as possible. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you have any comments on this or any other videos, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have, uh, any suggestions or anything like that. Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, check out my Instagram. It's vital underscore reef. Please like and subscribe. And thanks again for all your support.